Greetings folks, I have a couple of little gadgets from Vifly to show you today. One's an update, one's a new product. Let's start with the update. This is the Vifly Short Stopper Short Saver version 2. Uh, I already have and have reviewed the version 1. Uh, essential little piece of kit that I use all the time. Uh, I have it here in my box of power checking stuff. Uh, perfect for checking new soldering jobs to make sure that you haven't done anything stupid. Um, plug it in, plug the battery in. If you get a green light, you're okay, basically. Uh, only thing with this one is it doesn't have an on-off button, whereas the version 2 does. All right, let's have a look. So in the packet we get a little instruction manual, which is good. They're decent little instruction pamphlets with these Vifly things. Thank you card. Uh, there's the new one. And we have, instead of having the side switch like that one, we have two push buttons. One to change settings and one to turn on and off. That's uh, a good update. Uh, that will make it a lot more easy to set up and easier to use. I'll have a closer look and I'll explain it all to you in more detail. Uh, the other one, the storage safe units are discharge units to discharge your LiPo to a safe level. Have a nice big heat sink on there, flashing light on that side. Heat sink's going to uh, dissipate all the heat and uh, discharge the battery to a safe storage charge. Different coloured lights for different LiPos. Blue light looks like it's 2S, green light looks like it's the 4S. Uh, there's a red light and depending on which combination of these it'll tell you what the it will tell you what the cell count of the LiPo is. Um, so anyway, time for a closer look. Alright, closer look at the short saver two. Actually I'll give you a comparison first. There's the first version with the slider switch there and a couple of solder bridging pads on the back for setup. But now we have two push buttons. So let's have a look. XT60 and XT30, and they do cross, so you can uh, plug in an XT30 battery into an XT60 circuit. So what do we have here? Uh, short saver 2 is safer and more reliable. Turn the power off to a device that drew in excess of the threshold within just 3 milliseconds, or you can change it to 15 milliseconds, and can cut the current completely while others still have leakage current. And let's, let's plug it in anyway. We have a yellow LED, which means it's ready to work. And blue LED is 2 amp current threshold and no blue LED is 1 amp current threshold and green light on here is on and no green light is off long press of the power button and we get one blink tells us we're on the 3 millisecond short circuit and 15 millisecond over current Long press again to accept that. So let's go back into that mode. So we've got one blink, short press, we've got two blinks, so now we've got five milliseconds short circuit and 20 milliseconds over current. Let's short press again, we should get three blinks. There we go, seven milliseconds short circuit and 30 milliseconds over current. Why would you want to change these? Well, some circuits need uh, capacitors to charge up before it sort of reach equal, it reaches equilibrium. So uh, if you have big capacitors, I guess, you may need to lengthen this short circuit time to uh, get it to operate correctly when you first connect it up. Once the capacitors are charged up, it'll w work normally on any of these, I suspect. And long press to accept that. So let's just check that this is all good. We're in standby mode, so uh, check to see that it's off, so that's off. We'll plug my flight control board in there, turn it on, and we've got the green light, so all is good. 
Now we'll see if we can induce a short circuit. I'll put my little switch in here and I'll just short through there. All right, so I have my switch. I'll sh stick a sh short in there in the form of a pair of pliers that have found their way into the contacts. Turn the short saver on and turn the switch on and it immediately cuts the current. Red light there, all good. Turn it off, turn it on again, and we're good to go. So excellent, that is uh, an improvement over the original, I think. Uh, although the original is still a very useful little device, uh, this is an even better one. Now let's have a look at the store safe. Smart LiPo discharger that can intelligently discharge your battery uh, with a built-in advanced algorithm and the and the temperature sensor so it can discharge at a at the highest rate keeping it within the temperature range xd60 version xd30 version and we have a red blue and green led and these uh, sequences show you the uh, cell count so just a blue light is 2s blue and red light is 3s got to find me a 3s battery just green is 4s uh, green and red 5s and green and blue is 6s just let me find a 3s all right 3s lipo here let's plug it in and we get blue and red blinks a few times and then settles and it will discharge it down to 3.85 volts per cell before Using store safe, you need to make sure it's above uh, 3.95 per cell. It'll discharge it to 3.85 and then enter the ultra low leakage current. Flashing blue light for five seconds and then it's in the discharge state now. And the discharging power is one watt. So I've just plugged it into a current meter, a watt meter, to see. Uh, and it is around 1 watt, uh, 0.09.1 amps discharge current for the 3S. So simple as that, just plug it in, leave it alone, and it'll safely discharge your battery. It's warm, just warm, not hot yet. I imagine it'll heat up eventually. Oh,